Andrew Gilman joins us on the Little Caesars Hot and Ready Hotline. Uh, how would you describe? Andrew, I, I got to make you tell Zach what you just told me first. Oh uh, uh, yes, I was walking out to my car, Zach, and uh, hitting my button on my uh, to unlock the door, trying to arrange everything so I'd get ready to talk to you guys, and hitting the button over and over, trying to open the door over and over, and it's not my car. <laughs> just looks was, like his I was car. like one and a half. I was like a second and a half thinking of. What rock can I throw through the window to open my own car door here? And I'm glad I didn't. And then I look down the row, and what do you know? There's another one just like mine. <laughs> it's uh, been a rough morning so far. <laughs> <laughs> that that is. I that's funny. I was I was in a parking garage yesterday, and a lady did the exact same thing. I was I was walking by, and I saw this car with its blinkers on. Mm-hmm. And and it, nobody in it, and I'm thinking, how the blinker? Why is somebody got their emergency blinkers on in the parking lot? And they she just left them on for a remote, yeah. Okay. And, and it, yeah, and it, it was a it was a lady about five cars down. She's like, oh, that's not my car. And <laughs> yeah, she it's a was, little embarrassing. I'm glad someone didn't walk out and say, uh, why don't you get away from my car, sir? <laughs> no kidding. Uh, Andrew Gillen with us. All right, so how do you feel about last night? Like, if you're a Thunder fan, how do you weird. feel this morning? Well, I mean. Exhausted, this, relieved. This is sort of what I wrote. Uh, okay, Russell Westbrook played a, you know, he was he was good. Uh, Andre Robertson had a, you know, a double double. He was good. The Thunder played well. Their seven game winning streak is over. But nobody cares about any of that. They just don't. It, it's all about how was his ankle. That's the only thing anyone cares about, in, right. in my opinion. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, the, if they had won, that'd have been great too. But I think that. A1 on the list would have been, okay, so they won, but how's the ankle? They lost. So how's the ankle? I think that's the only question. I'm at the point now where, I'm, you know, I know, and I know, look, they're what, 12 and 14 or 11 and 14? I, I mean, I know that they're close to, you know, getting back into the playoffs even now, but I'm almost curious to know what, how much more leash do they have in terms of injuries the rest of the way? That kind of that was one of my thoughts from last night. How how would you answer that if I told you how much leash do they have from an injury standpoint the rest of the way? Well, I mean, in the absolute immediate future, I think they could probably get away with not playing Kevin Durant tonight, regardless of injury, uh, because it's the Lakers. I know you don't want to take any nights off at this point because, you, like you said, you're a game or two under 500, and you never know. But and they said he could. He said he could have played in the second half last night. I don't know what the leash is. I would think not very much. I would think not very much, even though they're only you know four or five games out of what third or fourth or fifth place, whatever it is. It's all jammed up there. But and it, and it may not even matter what seed they get as long as they get in because. The one seed might be as good as the seven or eight. I mean, San Antonio might be a seven, you know, for all we know. Andrew, but, I'll ask you what I asked Zach earlier. Okay. Uh, the <laughs> I, I, I gave a horrible, horrible answer there, and I'm trying to figure out a way out of it. And I, I can't do it. No, no, no. I mean, that's not an easy question. I mean, I, it, seriously. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'll take part of the blame. That's not an easy question. It was a terrible question. No, it, it was a fantastic question, but it's you know, it's it's an anomaly. We don't know what it is. We don't know the answer. <laughs> Last night on Inside the NBA after the game, trick question. Uh, Grant Hill and Shaq both agreed that the best duo in the NBA is. West Westbrook and Durant. I saw that. But yeah. Grant Hill said the difference between Westbrook and Durant and Curry and Thompson is that Curry and Thompson have guys around them that can help them, and Westbrook and Durant have to do everything on their own. Yeah, I disagree with that. I dis- okay. I disagree with that. So I, I guess my first question is, do you think that uh, that says a lot about Westbrook and Durant maybe not making the guys around them better? And you would say no because you disagree. Right. And then the second question is, if you if you did agree with it, or even if you disagree with it, do you think they need to move someone at the trade deadline and try to get some more pieces around well, those guys? Well, I mean, I, if you're, I don't know that it's trading in the NBA is so difficult. And without like looking at, you know, just being a fanboy and trying to figure out, you know, I would trade this guy for that guy. Yeah, I mean, you would think that they would be able to get something for Reggie Jackson because it doesn't seem to me that Reggie Jackson might even be around next year. But I don't know how they get necessarily get better with a trade unless you're I mean you're talking about some sort of super large name. I think the Thunder are as concerned about team and chemistry as they are on the stuff that happens on the court. And what I mean by that is Sebastian Telfair is gone and Ish Smith stays. 
that tells you how they feel about who represents our brand. And certainly there's uh, Sebastian Telfair was a Boy Scout when he was here, and he did nothing wrong. But there's something about him that didn't say thunder the way Ish Smith does. And neither one of those guys is going to play, so it doesn't matter. So I I'm don't saying, know if I buy that, Andrew. Listen, listen, what I'm saying is they're not going to just bring in anybody just for the sake of we can get this guy. And I do think that they are cons- – They're like J.R. Smith, he would never play for the Thunder, okay? He's just not a guy that's going to play for the Thunder. And it's like what you say when you see good art. What makes it good? I don't know, but you know it when you see it. And, and you can tell guys that are Thunder players and there's guys that are not around the league. There's just guys that won't work here. Trading is so much easier on NBA 2K15. It's way easier. <laughs> yeah, you just drop in the <laughs> Why name. Why can't it be like real life? Or not approved. Yeah, exactly. Um, what, what are you making of Reggie? I don't know, man. He's one of my favorite players. Just um, like we've talked about so many times, I just like talking to him. So I, I like him a lot. And um, I, I, I don't like it when he seems disengaged. And he seemed disengaged last night. And someone, either he lost a bet or someone told him he can only shoot fallaway shots now. I mean, what's up with that? Why was he doing that? Just go to the basket. And I think you even tweeted that. Go to the basket. Hashtag go to the rim, baby. That's Go my... to the rim. Oh, that's your hashtag that you're starting to get going. I love it. Going. Yes, well, we, you I'll need to start with... retweeting that. Come on. We need to get this to grow. I do uh, that. I do it every damn game whenever they start jump shooting all the time. Well, start tweeting better stuff, and I'll think about it. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Durant was, is, Kevin Durant was on pace for 60, too. That's I mine. love on pace guys. On, on pace, pace guys. guys. On, on pace, pace is the best. <laughs> on pace guy is the on best. On pace guy because there's 17 people that will tweet you something legitimately during the game saying, Kevin Durant's on pace for 54 mm-hmm. points mm-hmm. after he scores the first two of the game or whatever it is. But I, Reggie Jackson is a guy that can get to the rim all of the time. He's, he's Russell Westbrook light. He's not a destitute Russell Westbrook. He's a poor man, Russell Westbrook. He can do some of the same things. And so when I saw him doing that last night, to me that looked like a want-to deal. And a lot of times getting to the rim is not about necessarily your skill. It's about do you want to put forward the effort? It's easy to sit back and shoot jumpers. It's easier. Not easy. It's easier. It takes less effort. And I felt like Reggie wasn't putting out full effort last night, and I hate seeing that. I hated seeing that. All right. See you later. That's it? Yeah, that's it. I feel like we should do another segment. I feel like I'm just getting going. Well, I mean, you can stick around no, for a little no, bit no, after a break. Okay. I mean, no, no, I, I, don't, I, I, don't I saw. Get... I don't know what creaky door you went through during the middle of the interview, but I felt like maybe uh, you were home and you wanted to get back on your couch or something. No, I. You went uh, through a creaky door there. I did go through a creaky door. You're right. I, I got to get the WD forty, so I won't be able to stick around for this. <laughs> see you later. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Andrew Gilman on the Little Cedars Hot Ray Hotline. 